Welcome back to Home Lab Networks. My name is AJ, and in this video, we are going over my network setup and configuration and what the basis of a home network is. So, we start in the lounge room. This is where the internet comes into the house, the DSL line, under the house into the network rack. I'm so happy with how this has turned out so far. So we'll start from the bottom and work our way to the top and I'll explain each step. Right, so the DSL line comes into this modem here. This is a standard router modem, but I've turned the Wi-Fi off and it just acts as the modem. So this modem provides internet to all my switches, which then provides internet to the patch panels, giving me internet and network access across my entire house and all my devices, including the CCTV there, and the NAS next to it, and the op Optic Plex. So the modem goes into the two TP-Link switches, which is showing right now, and then the two TP-Link switches connect to the separate patch panels, and then that gives me the internet connection for my patch cables, for my servers and other white devices I have in the house. So my goal is to one day fill all 48 ports, which seems crazy for a home network, but I do think it's possible and I'm determined to do it. And then obviously all the servers now are all wired into the patch panel then which traces back to the switch and then traces, traces back to the modem. So I only have access points. I don't have a wireless like router as they're called the combos. I just install two access points in the house and the only wireless devices on that on those access points is the TV and the um like iPhones and iPads. Other, otherwise, every device in the house is wired straight into this network, network rack into the patch panels from the switches. And so that is well, that's the basis of the network configuration and how it runs. It all goes through that modem and then all goes through the switch and then I patch everything through the panels which you can see now are labelled. So as today I did a cable installation and because everything was labelled and documented I knew which cable to pull out so no random devices would lose connection and go down because I have my devices up time 24-7 if possible but that's my basic network configuration which is a lot which is like the standard for a home network a lot of people just use the router the router um, switch combo which I don't like because every device that's running two and three jobs at once I believe you need to have a separate switch router and modem so now this is the first access point which goes to this ethernet port which runs back to the cabinet and then back to the patch panel and switch which gets the connection from the modem. Here I'm planning to hardwire this TV with Ethernet because I just like to hardwire everything I possibly can. Now this is the ac uh, second ac access point. I don't need two access points, I just like the idea of having two access points. And this that's a still spare Ethernet cable that I just have there just in case I get, an get another computer. Now the software side, this is my TP-Link router, my DNS is Pi-hole, my secondary DNS is OpenDNS, and my client list, this is, these are all just re reservations or static IP addresses for those devices, so, so they don't change. But um, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.